I need something. I need some mystery or some some kind of thing in my life right now. Oh my god. Hello everyone. I have a very bookish video for today. We are only going to be talking about books, book related stuff, books that I want to read, books that I got. It's a book haul, it's a book video, it's a book day. Okay, so I I have a lot of books. So I have been buying a lot of books recently. Um, I don't know why. I think it's just like a hobby at this point, just like book buying. Or the fact that I just got like a new bookshelf and I just want it to be like filled with nice books. But I have a lot of books now. My TBR is never ending and I think I am just i'm never gonna run out of books to like read okay so i just got back from the bookstore and i got some books so i think i'm gonna show you guys what i got today um and then <laughs> that's all that i got this year actually no there's more that i bought this year but this is like a stack of like recent buys um so <laughs> I have my tote bag here with three books that I just got from Barnes and Nobles and I just went to the prettiest Barnes and Nobles um, in the city. It's like three stories. It's huge and I don't know why but I wore heels and it was not not a good idea. Um, but yeah, so the main reason why I went there and why I, I, I needed to go there um, was to get this book. This is Court by Tracy Wolf and if any of you have been following me on Instagram since last beginning of last year or on my book talk you know that I am obsessed with the series this is the Crave series this is the fourth fourth oh my god this is the fourth book in the series it's a never-ending series honestly I just found out that there's going to be a fifth book and then there is going to be like a separate book with just two of the characters can't wait and we are getting those two books this year so yeah this is the first book that i got and i would highly recommend the series this is the only fantasy slash ya series that i'm reading right now i really have a special place in my heart for this series because book talk did not introduce me to this series i found it all on my own i was bored one day and i literally looked up vampire books and this was the first series that like came up and i loved it literally i read the first and the second book in a week and i just could not wait for the third book which came out last year and now i have this one she's thick like all of tracy's books are so thick i feel like they get thicker and thicker every book like let's compare them okay so yikes yeah they're huge and i just i just love them so much beautiful covers but this is the first book this is the second which is my favorite book love it so much and then this is the third book and the fourth one well the third one is like thicker is it not i think the, the third one is thicker but yeah aren't they just beautiful i just love it next book that i got from barnes and nobles is a colleen hoover book so pray for me um reminders of him it's so popular and i have no idea what it's about but it's colleen hoover it's got to be about a love story and there's going to be pain and i'm here for it instant buy anything from colleen hoover is an instant buy for me and then next my best friend recommended this book is this a series i don't even know if it's a series or not it's called the inheritance games the inheritance games why is that so hard to say yeah she said it was really good there better be romance in this book if there's not i'm coming for you um but i'm hoping that it is good it looks good i read it and i think that i might enjoy it and i need something i need some mystery or some some kind of thing in my life right now okay so that's all that i got today literally and now let's talk about what i'm excited to read for this year and what i'm excited for to like come out everyone's doing like what they want their like 2022 reads like their their goals and their like tbrs and all that stuff i thought i would just throw everything into like this giant video and talk about what i'm excited to read what i got and um books that are coming out that i'm excited for and that's an instant buy for me first let's talk about my reading goal it was set to 200 but then 
I realized that my schedule is not going to work out if I <laughs> have that goal. Um, I mean, it could work out. I did read like 10 books last month. So that would mean I would just have to read like, I don't know, like 20 books a month now. Um, yeah, no, that's not happening. So I changed it to 150 and then I realized that that's also not going to work out for me. Yeah, so then I changed it to 100 and I thought that was pretty reasonable and um, doable for me. So um, hopefully that works out. Um, I don't know because most of my books are either series and they're like never ending series that I really like want to have or they're just like super thick, like super thick books, which I love, but we'll see. Okay, so the first contemporary series that I got is the Twisted series. So I got Twisted Love, Twisted Hate, Twisted Games. I think, is it Twisted Games? I just came out. Oh no, that's book two. Book one, book three, Twisted Hate. See, I don't know anything about this series. Book Talk recommended it. I heard it was romance, enemies to lovers, spice, instant buy. And look at the covers, they're so pretty. Like it's an instant buy for me. Um, I'm excited to read this series. I think after I read Court, which I hopefully I can start tonight. I'm excited for this. I think this is gonna be a really good series. I really, I feel like I'm gonna enjoy it. I just know it. And based on all the book talkers reviews, I think I'll like it. My bookshelf is falling apart because I like took stacks out and everything just like, I have mostly paperbacks and they don't stack so nicely. So everything is just like falling apart. But I love paperbacks over hardcovers. I know the only thing I love about hardcovers is that they stack so nicely, like my Crave series. Love it. So another series that I'm excited to read is the Dirty Air series. And I read the first and second book in January and I have the third and fourth one here. This is race car sports romance and they are just so good oh my god i highly highly recommend this series i can't wait to read the other two i might get to them in the summertime um but i do love them i, I try not to read series like all at once anymore because i get so attached and I just don't know what to do with my life when it's over. So another contemporary series that I really want to finish is the Addicted series. And I started that series last late summer, early fall, I think. And I was hooked. It was honestly addicted. And I mentioned it in my, my first book video and my last book video, how I am obsessed with the series and i had to take a break from it because i was getting so attached and just addicted honestly and i know that the second i finish the series i'm not gonna have anything to do with my life i'm gonna miss these characters so much so i took a break and i started a new series um but i have five more books to go in this series so i'm all good um i have two of them right now physically and then i have to get the other three because it's a 10 book series and i know there's also a spin-off series to the series with like their kids and stuff um ooh, that was a spoiler yeah i don't know i don't know if it's if it's good or not i have to do my research but i would really like to finish the series so yeah i'm really excited about that i think this is this is definitely one of my favorite contemporary series so far um the off campus was like my number one but i think this might be my number one i, I just keep like getting like my books just keeps getting like better and better like every time. Okay, next two books that I got are two Jane Austen books and a lot of people have been recommending me <sighs> Jane Austen's book because it's like my vibe kind of. They just feel like I'll like it. So I got like these really pretty cover ones but I saw these on Amazon and I just love them so much. This one is so cute. I love it. Um, and they're hard covers. So I got Pride and Prejudice and then I got Emma and I heard there's a movie or a show on this. I know this one's a movie already and I haven't seen it yet but I know it's Enemies to Lovers. We are all fools in love. Yeah, I know it's Enemies to Lovers so I know I'm gonna enjoy this one. I think she's like a matchmaker or something and like she ends up falling in love with someone. I don't know, but I think I'm I'm gonna like this one too. They sound like really cute stories. Enemies to Lovers is an instant buy for me. Next, I got like some self-help books or just some like fun books. Like this one's called The Emotionary. It's a dictionary of words that doesn't exist for feelings that do. And I thought this was so cute. I mean, 
the cover is pink, obviously, but it's like little illustrations, comics, there's like words in here that like you feel things and they just kind of describe them to you. And there's, I just love the little comics in here. I thought this was like really cute to just like throw it in my bag. It's like a perfect like little pocketbook book um to like take with me um whenever i'm like i don't know going to the doctor's office i just want something to read other than being on my phone so i thought this was like cute for that this one's like really popular on tiktok attached um so i think i definitely definitely need to read this book and then there's this one how to be yourself um i don't know why i got this one but it was like recommended when I bought it when I got Never Get Angry Again and if I'm being honest, I bought this when I was on my period and I was very angry and then I just like didn't know what to do so I'm like the only solution I have is to go to books so this was re very very recommended for me and I recommend it to other people who are feeling angry um, this book helped me not when I'm on my cycle but just like in life just like changed my whole perspective on how and like the reasons why I get angry and I really loved it I actually enjoyed it it's it's very like realistic and it kind of makes sense to me um, I have a lot of highlighted stuff in here that actually makes sense if you ever want a book to just improve yourself or just look at life a different way i guess um read this book i highly recommend it honestly it helped me so much i was having such a strange january month um but i'm over it <laughs> um i'm not saying thanks to this book this book was part of it yes books really do help i really do want to get through these um because sometimes i just need like a little break from the fictional romance. I forgot to mention I got this really pretty book on Christmas. It's called Anna and the French Kiss. Literally I have no idea what it's about but I just mentioned that it was a pretty book. So apparently it's supposed to be like a very pretty romance in Paris. Um, so this is straight up my alley and I got the collector's edition. So pretty. I love the cover so much and it's hardcover and it just looks so pretty on my shelf. Okay, and then I went to the used bookstore last weekend and I got this book. It's called Love, maybe. Um, it's like a cute little YA novel. Oh, there's a bookmark in here. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's like a cute little like Valentine's Day kind of book. It was so perfect because I found it like right around Valentine's Day. So I thought it was like really cute like candy hearts and stuff and then last year i went to the bookstore with my friend and i got like two books so crazy rich asians which i know there's a movie i haven't seen the movie yet so what is in these books oh, they're like little cards that i got from authors when they send me stuff so yeah i think i'm gonna read this one and then i'm gonna watch the movie because i like reading the books first and then watch the movies because I don't know it just it's just the books are always better so that that's all like my physical copies that i have right now oh no i have one more okay so i went to barnes and nobles last month no the beginning of february i go there so many times i got malibu rising by taylor reed she is the author of seven husbands of evelyn hugo love that book that book was eventful loved it and if sh that book was amazing by her i know that this book is going to be just as amazing i love her writing it's so good so i'm really excited to read this one another book that i want to read from her is daisy jones and the six and i know there's a tv show coming out so i want to read the book first and then watch the tv show obviously okay another book that i need to finish is crooked kingdom um, it is the second book in the Six of Crows series. I bought both books in 2021, the beginning of 2021, and I started to read Six of Crows. I read like a chapter, I think, and I just could not get into it. So I put it aside. One year later, I picked it up and I finished it, and then I dug into this one. And the same thing, it's just not, not clicking. So maybe next year I'll pick it up and I'll finish it again, but I don't know. 
we'll see um but i know that this one is a lot better than the first one and i am excited so maybe i will finish it hopefully okay so another series that i really want to finish is the selection series and i think it's because it's a ya and it's mostly for a younger audience i'm just not into it um but i did really like the first book i thought it was really good and i finished the third book last month which was okay and now i have one two three i have two more books in the series and then i found like a novella at the used bookstore so i i don't know how it ties in i know there's a bunch of like novellas and i feel like it's gonna get complicated so i'm not even gonna like stress it so so there's basically only like two and a half more books that i have for that series so that's not too bad and they're pretty like light like about 300 pages so so i think one of my goals is to read everything written by colleen hooper because i love her so much she is my favorite author causes me so much pain and i'm really excited for it starts with us but it's like a continuation with two characters in the first book and so the second book is about their story i'm so excited when i found out that that's gonna be a thing i i just literally the best news of the entire year i'm so excited but i'm also like really nervous and anxious because i just don't think that there's ever going to be anything bad about them um but we all know colleen hoover and her plot twists so no one's safe another thing that i really wanted to kind of try out this year is poetry and i know there's a lot of like pretty iconic books out there like on pinterest um i know milk and honey i really want to get that that's so so tiny and so cute um i want to like just start reading them i feel like it could be something similar to this little book that i can just like carry around with me um or just have it on my nightstand i think that would be like a really nice idea to just have that i can read a couple poems at night before i go to sleep instead of like getting caught up in an entire book because once i start reading an entire book i just don't stop i really don't stop especially if it's like a colin hoover book i know it's getting to that point I need to know what happens. I can't go to bed knowing that something bad is about to happen. I thought I had more books, but I guess I didn't. I don't know. It's been crazy. It's been a crazy month. Hey, do I have more books? Oh, another book that I'm excited to read is Terms and Condition by Lauren Asher. Love her. She's the author of the Dirty Ear series. I love all her books. She is amazing. I read The Fine Print last year. Masterpiece. Loved it so much grumpy ex sunshine is like the trope love that and also she follows me on tiktok biggest flex most of like my favorite authors follow me on tiktok it's like an accomplishment is to get all of my top favorite authors to follow me i need colin hoover following me so she can see my pain another book that i'm excited for is the american roommate experience i think it's called it's by Elena Armaz, who wrote The Spanish Love Deception. I also want to read that one. She also follows me on TikTok. But yeah, I think that's all the books that I'm excited to read for this year. It might change. Well, no, I'll do like a reading wrap up at the end of the year. I will keep you updated on my Instagram. I like post all my book updates on there if you want to follow me so yeah that is all um thanks for watching and i hope you get some kind of recommendation from this video if you're in a slump like i am and i will see you guys very soon bye